oversharing of the data in the SharePoint is one of the most popular blockers that stopping organizations from enabling Copilot for their users. In this video, I want to help you to prepare yourself and your organization how to handle oversharing across Microsoft 365, especially in the SharePoint, what you can do, how you can handle that, and what kind of workarounds you can use to resolve that issue, that challenge quickly to do not block deployment of the copilot in your organization. I will show you what kind of reports you can use to recognize the spaces where oversharing could took place and what kind of configuration changes you can apply for your SharePoint sites to secure these specific locations from Copilot, from your users, but also from Microsoft 365 Search. If you would like to have more videos like that, I highly recommend you to leave subscription, thumbs up, or ask the question in the comment section. Remember, I would reference to some PowerShell scripts or the tools that I will link in the description of this video. So let's stop a moment and think why we are talking about oversharing at all. So first of all, in the description of the video, you will find another video that I already prepared about if Copilot can leak your data and specifically about oversharing. Oversharing is the situation where we have the data stored in SharePoint, Teams or OneDrive, which is heavily shared with the business users without our intention. Maybe we add the wrong security group, maybe we create publicly available Microsoft Teams, or we shared and shared and shared, and this site is heavily shared with everyone, which means that these people will have access to that data. Maybe they have no idea about it at all, maybe they will never click to that folder and found these files that are stored there, but Realistically, Copilot could really expose that kind of data with the security setup that is not our intention here. And again, you will hear about the leaking CEO salaries or elements like that, but I can imagine a lot of scenarios that could be risky for your organization. CVs, reports, documents, contracts, offers that are stored somewhere for years and nobody checked that the permissions are not properly set. So today I will help you to use some reports across Microsoft 365 that will help you to recognize that kind of structure. So first of all, we'll talk about SharePoint sites. SharePoint sites that store data and have too wide access for whole organization, for whole department or for the very wide group of people. And how to resolve that challenge? You will need to change the permissions, the access rights to that specific SharePoint sites. And you can imagine discussion with the business to get to make that happen could took months. So you need to find the solution to do not block deployment of Copilot for a year before all the overshared sites will be properly set up. I will show you some workarounds that could help you to create the list of the sites that will be only available to be searched by Copilot or possibility to exclude specific sites from the perspective of scope of search and Copilot. Frankly speaking, the second solution is my favorite one. So we are recognizing the sites that possibly are overshared. We are excluding them from Copilot and from Microsoft 365 search and we're giving us time to resolve that challenge in the background. And in the meantime, we can roll out Copilot to our users. So let's switch to Microsoft 365 Admin Center and let's check how we can resolve the challenge connected with oversharing. SharePoint Data Governance Reports. One of the solutions that Microsoft recommends to analyze oversharing across Microsoft 365 is to use data access governance reports added to the SharePoint Admin Center. You can open them going through Microsoft 365 Admin Center and opening SharePoint Admin Portal, which will allow you to get access to the new feature in the area of the reports. You will get the access to the data access governance where you can select two elements, 
Sensitive labels applies to files. This is also something quite useful in the area of the deployment of the copilot. But today we will focus on the sharing links. In this area, you will be able to execute and analyze reports across your SharePoint online structure and to verify if there are any links that grant access to the wide audience, like anyone, people in the organization or specific people. We will run all these reports to prepare that data. You need to remember that it could took some time to generate these reports, especially if your SharePoint environment is quite large. And there is a one big disclaimer in here. Existence of the anyone links or people in the organization links does not mean that all users in the organization have access to this data. They can have access there if they will click on the links that were shared with them, then they will be added to the access list and Copilot will allow to get access to that data. But if they never click on the link, access is not granted to them automatically to this SharePoint site. So on the one hand, it is important and valuable to verify that. You, we know that oversharing could be quite risky even if, if you do not deploy Microsoft Copilot, but still remember, this will not be the reports that will address everything across your Microsoft 365. These reports will highlight some elements, but not everything. And one more important element to get access to the data access governance reports, you need to own SharePoint premium licenses, which cost additional $3 per user who using SharePoint for whole organization or Microsoft 365 E5 subscription. So let's give a few moments to our SharePoint environment to gather the data and we will get back here to check the results. And after some time, our reports will be ready. And if we will open it, we will get access to the top 100 reports. Of course, you will see that in this video, I always recommend to export that data. You will get the Excel file that you can analyze and review if any of the SharePoint sites on your environment were overshared using sharing by links. Analyze organization-wide teams created in Microsoft Teams. Another element that you should verify when you checking your Microsoft 365 environment are teams. So let's go to Microsoft Teams admin portal and let's check our teams that are organization-wide. From perspective of the Teams Admin Center, go to Manage Teams section and look for the teams that are included inside your Microsoft 365. From perspective of the privacy, you will find two types of the teams that are created private and public and public teams are available globally. So every person in the organization have access to them. And remember, uh, behind every Microsoft team, there is a SharePoint site. So if we will have the data there, every person in the organization will have access to that. Moreover, you can list team members and see the teams with big numbers of the members. Of course, it doesn't have to be risk. Maybe this is by design, but if you have the team that have few thousand members, it also could be the case where the data could be overshared with these people, probably not by intention. So these are the elements that you should investigate. Of course, if you have 10 teams here, there will be no problem. If this will be a huge number, then I highly recommend you to export that data to Excel file and analyze it there. Analyze SharePoint sites in the context of oversharing. Another report worth to review on your site is the SharePoint Admin Center and the list of active sites. In this report, you will get the access to the all SharePoint site created in your environment. You will get the information that are connected with Microsoft Teams what is the volume of the storage used by the sites and what is could be also quite important, what is the number of the files in there? Because again, if we will have the site that have multiple users, but zero documents, there's no risk in there. Probably we should change this permission settings, but today data is not overshared with these users. And as in previous example, you can export that data to Excel file and analyze that data directly in the Excel. Maybe mix that reports with the other reports like 
export from the PowerShell from perspective of the members of the groups. And you probably see that the reports I shared with you not delivering everything in it. We have some nominated sites that are publicly available for everyone behind Microsoft Teams. We have the overshared spaces with the reports connected with data access governance. We have the Microsoft 365 groups, but we need to match that data. That's why I was recommending you to export that data to Excel to give you the possibility to prepare the reports and classify the sites. Moreover, I would highly recommend you to do some PowerShell scripting and get the numbers of the users of the specific Microsoft 365 groups. This will allow you to recognize the sites that have a lot of members and this is not that heavy to get the group count members through PowerShell. So you can see some additional data mapping will be needed, but we are almost there to nominate our sites that are possibly risky from the perspective of oversharing. Exclude one SharePoint site from Microsoft Copilot Scope. And finally, when you will nominate some sites that could be overshared, what you can do right now, you can exclude these sites from the scope of Copilot and also scope of the Microsoft 365 search, which is also a great way to find that data. What you should do, you should go to the site setting on the specific site, open site information, and then go to view all site settings. In this panel, what you can do, you can go to the search and offline availability. You can see this is still classic experience from the SharePoint Online perspective. And here you have the capability indexing site content. You can exclude this site from the index of Microsoft 365 full text search, but also from perspective of Copilot, which will give you the capability to found workaround till permissions will be fixed for this specific site or you will figure out with business owners the solution for it. Change that setting to no, click OK and you excluding this specific site to be accessed or indexed through Copilot or Microsoft 365 search. Block all SharePoint sites from Copilot and create white list for the allowed sites. If you need something that will be delivered faster, the solution that could work for you is to enabling restricted search for SharePoint. And you can do that using PowerShell. So first of all, we need to connect to our SharePoint Online. And on the tenant level, we should check the status of the restricted search mode on our specific tenant. You can see in my tenant, it is not enabled. And this is the workaround because how does it work? We, we disabling all the sites but we delivering the list of up to 100 websites that will be allowed to be searched through Copilot in the area of searching of the data. The only thing you need to do is to enable this mode. You can do that using this parameter, set SPO tenant restricted search mode enabled. This will enable this setup in your Microsoft 365 environment so the only thing you need to do right now is to add SPO tenant restrict search allowed list. So to add your SharePoint site with the address that you selected in here to allowed list. This site will be enabled to be searched through Copilot through Microsoft 365 search and it gives you the capability to manage that element directly in the Copilot. This site is listed as an allowed source. Rest of the sites will be not available in the Copilot or search engine. Plus remember, the list is up to 100 sites. All the comments you will find in the description of this video. And also what is quite important, when you will enable this feature, that kind of message will be appearing on the top of the screen when somebody will open Copilot for Microsoft 365 chat. Some sites are limited and will not be accessible through Copilot. But again, if somebody will directly reach out to the file that is included in the specific SharePoint site, it will be possible. But Copilot by itself, it will not search through specific sites if users will directly not ask for it. Yeah, I know this is a heavy topic, but I think this is very good baseline to 
analyze your SharePoint sites from perspective of the risky scenarios, nominates the sites that are possibly overshared, and then exclude them from the perspective of Copilot to be sure that they will not appear in the results recommended by AI and generative AI across our Microsoft 365 environment. We buying the time to give us the possibility to meet with the business owners and check if this kind of settings are correct or not. And to be fair, oversharing is the risk not only if you deploy in Copilot. Remember, Microsoft 365 Search will also be able to find this data. So the workarounds I presented today, excluding the SharePoint sites, not only from Copilot, but also from Microsoft 365 Search. I hope informations in this video help you to understand better how to handle oversharing the area of the Copilot. Prepare your farm, prepare your data structure before you will start to work with AI and use Copilot the responsible way. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.